There we go. Right here, this is the Eternal Leather Goods Kimono. It's a slim wallet. And it comes just like this in a plastic OPP bag. Let's just take that out and make lots of noise. Uh, it does come in 11 other colors. I chose natural because it's easy to show you. And we can see from here the kind of sewing that we have going on is really well done. We have a lot of double stitching, reinforcement where we'd expect it. So, hmm, pretty good leather. We see on the exterior we have one which really comes around and two. So we have two card slots right here on the in the exterior and we have one internal card slot right here. Pretty easy to see what this provides us overall as a wallet. Capacity one to three cards in the interior, uh, one to two or folded cash in either places. This measures 3.7 by 2.9 by 0.4 and it weighs 26 grams or 0.9 ounces. Very, very light. The name Eternal Leather Goods comes from the concept that their products will last forever, with an emphasis on the two aspects of functionality and durability. So with five cards and two slips of cash in here, it does get to about half an inch right here, but again, this will mold to your body over time. The company makes no recommendations on cards or cash, but due to the quality of the leather, this will stretch to accommodate. It is really quite nice. This is designed and made in Hong Kong. It is a full grain veg tan leather from the Concia Wapier in Italy. And interestingly enough, uh, Wapier is tannery uh, in Italian. It's made from two pieces of leather that's wrapped. So we have this one that wraps around here. And then on the top, which we'll pull this out, get you a better feel for it. Uh, it has this leather that wraps on the top as well as the one around. So it's two pieces of leather sewn on this side that wrap. And of course the bottom is taken care of right here. Now it's called a kimono for a reason. Wow, this has a quite the plunging neckline as you can see. The collar at the top acts like a card like acts as card holders and the waistband or the obi in Japanese is the exterior pockets that wrap around the whole wallet for folded notes or extra cards. Sewing is done very well, which we talked about. Uh, we do have it coming over the top for security there so this doesn't blow out as well as security of double sewing all in the areas that would receive a lot of pull pressure here that could tear the leather. What I really was impressed with is the symmetry of the holes, uh, the way that it was punched down all the way and the sewing that was done. The precision is very, very well done. And the burnishing, uh, it does have quite a sheen to it. I do like a higher gloss personally. I think it uh, looks good and I like how this was finished up. Another thing to look at is how even the edges are, okay? The edges are very even on this. You can get a look all the way down. There's no variation in the height and that's not something you can say about all leather wallets. So this was done incredibly well and very precise. The wallet is priced for $45. Now, while applying the kimono design elements, you end up with a very functional wallet with the thumb and finger access right up here get cards out for the interior cards or cash. The exterior, of course, they ride a little bit low. So cards placed here would be exposed to greater wear and tear. Uh, make sure that you have your chip on the interior, but notice that this will get some wear and tear from the pocket or whatever. It's just gonna be exposed. And one more thing I wanted to point out is this crease design. Crease designs take time, they're not free. And I just love how that was added here. That just adds a great feel, again, enhancing the design around and mimic of the kimono that they tried to do here. A simple but elegantly made slim wallet with a focus on quality materials and superb construction. Now onto the final score. For quality of five, price of four, features of three, very usual, usability of four. I like how they've incorporated the design, uh, but also making it very functional and usable and perception of four. That gives us a solid score, four out of five. If this review is interesting to you, then look at this video next, and we will see you in the next review. Goodbye.